Okie dokie. Oh, I had to burp there. Just as I started, of course. Let's go talk to Dr. Leia again. Ah, oh, Captain, going to visit Dr. Leia? We'll stand guard for you. Look after her, okay? Alright, she you ready? Let's talk to her. Now voice acting again. Dr. Leia, uh, how are you feeling? Yes. I'm fine. Oh, God. I remember some more after you left. Talking to you must have brought it back. You had told us that your father agonized over whether to let Rachel have the surgery. My father was never a man to stand by when something could be done. He had no other options. That will, that desire to help, is why he did so much to support the Magnolia Compass Orphanage. Tell me about your father. A scientist and Fenrir executive, he believed those with wealth have had a duty to help mankind. Papa was a part of the Godark soldier pro project as well. Weapons to save humanity from the origami. My sister and I continued his legacy. The Godark soldiers were what bonded our family together. Tell me about the orphanage. I never knew your father helped the fun Magnolia Compass. Perhaps I should have told you. I'm sorry I didn't. He never did it to earn gratitude. In fact, I should be begging for your forgiveness, Seal. I know how difficult that was for you. Dr. Leia, I... I am not quite convinced. You preserved. You grew into a fine girl, as did the others. That's the only good to come of this. Continue. <sighs> it's strange. With you two, it feels like I can endear these memories. Maybe even overcome them. Finally, I can face this. I've kept them buried so deep I nearly forgot they were there at all. Memories of Rachel? I have this one memory from when we were children. I modified the motor on Rachel's wheelchair. We got it to go incredibly fast. Papa was so angry. <laughs> Rachel and I flew along the field of the wind, Rachel laughing. Machines could make people happy. In that moment, I think I chose engineering. If only it could have undone what had been done. Tell me about your family. Our mother died when we were young. It had always been the three of us, but we were never unhappy. I remember a midnight picnic. We made sandwiches and went to a field of blossoming flowers. I told my father I wanted to be a scientist too. I didn't know anything, just that I was happy. Continue. I remember it so clear now. After I pushed Rachel, I was wrecked with guilt as I should have been, but time still moves on. No force can stop it. It was probably a month after she, after I pushed her. The treatments were done and she finally opened her eyes. I'd never been so happy. She'd changed too. <laughs> Whatever my father did to cure her made her more outgoing, more ambitious. She was so clever. And ever since then, no, even before she came back, I was bound to her every whim. I lived in terror. She never let me forget what I'd done to her. Never. Rachel, you're back! You must have been so lonely. No, Leah. I realized something while I was at the hospital. I'm not alone. I'll never be alone again. Rachel. Oh, my sweet Rachel. I'm so sorry. The damage to her spinal cord was simply too severe to repair. No. No apologies, Doctor. You went above and beyond the call of duty. It is enough of a miracle that she recovered at all. Thank you. Seeing the two of them finally getting along as sisters, that is truly extraordinary. Rachel, I... I'm so sorry. Everything that happened, I... It's okay, big sis. I forgive you. I understand. Really? Oh, Rachel, thank you. I swear, I'll do anything I 
can to make it up to you. I'll give you anything you want. Mom's agate pendant, my favorite dessert, all my books. Only say the word and it's yours. Oh, and my dolls too, of course. Forever, Rachel. I'll give you everything I have if you want it. Leia, thank you. Do you promise? I... Please, no more today. <laughs> Let's stop here for today. She needs rest. Okie dokie. Those two seem to get along so well. Dr. Lay was holding all that inside with no one to talk to. Crazy ass sister manipulated the fuck out of her. Just like with Dr. Cujo. And Julius. Ain't gonna do shit with me. I'm gonna be a big ass thorn in her side. Hmm, even so, I never thought the P73 bias factor I develop would be given to Dr. Rachel. This is the first case of it being administered to humans. Hmm. What about Soma? Is he in the database? Hold on. People. I'm sitting at three. Cypress Soma. Remember the... I don't think he's going to tell me this, is it? No. Remember the... Cradle... Nope, nothing about that. Well, we'll go on a mission then. Oh, hey, friend. Wolfbar Gummy detected in Old City. Take care of them quickly. Does that mean you're going to hear you on the radio? Hemlock Grail. I'll stick with my blood art. A Garm and... There's also a Chiyu. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to swap it. We'll bring Nana this time. Keep the blood unit together. Uh, I shall go with this one down here. Wait, no, it is attack too. Makes the Chi Yu easier. Garm's nothing. Chiyu. Surprise! Bye. I couldn't cancel my attack. Wait. Oh, he missed his attack. I got the fire off. Nice. Damn it. Damn. Nana's venom attacks really take effect fast compared to everyone else. Basic at cheese and nothing. Segments, on the other hand, they're sons of bitches. Oh, those activated at the same time, huh? 
I don't think blinds are really going to be useful. there's more than one Chiyu. And there is, so the Garmin isn't showing up yet. Ugh. Allow me to bite you. Again, I knocked you out of the air. Took a second to get that weak point.
Get over here. Still only about halfway dead though. Oh, get fucked, dude. If we can break his face, that'd be great. Now he's almost dead. Drop dead. I need another conversation with Dr. Leia. Thank you. tough fight, I know that. Especially the one towards the end of the game. Ugh. That sucks. I'll handle it. Plus one. Mission active. Dr. Leia submitted another visitation request. She seems a bit different this time. Did you make your way to the infirmary once you're ready? When I was still at Friar, I saw them take a few dozen Black Plague patients to the intensive care ward, but not a single one came back out. I thought they were still in treatment, but now... I know not what happened to Dr. Leia. However, I know for sure she is fighting something. Thus, she needs a helping hand. You must shower her with the light of hope. Don't lose your cool, no matter what happens. Important stuff evaporates when you get hot-headed. There are more and more red nemesis these days, and with them, an increase in black plague cases. Well, we just have to do our jobs as usual, for now anyway. The entire Far East feels restless right now. We can't, we just can't help it. If they keep using the Galdark soldiers at this rate, will we lose our jobs? Tell me if you heard anything, something juicy, okay? But on the edge of my seat. You look a little flustered, you okay? Uh, it looks like Dr. Leia is finally getting back to normal. Don't push yourself too hard. I tried using that private line to contact Friar, but just as I predicted, there was no response. I wonder how Asuna and the rest of the Black Plague patients are doing. It would be great if we could get to the truth today, though I have a feeling we don't really want to know it. We don't really want to know. Well, this is it. Dr. Rachel and Julius, what the hell are they planning? Oops, wrong side. I'm so used to going to the other side. Thank you for coming back. It's painful just sitting here in bed, thinking of things I can't fix. Dr. Leia. Uh, make her laugh. <laughs> Thank you. Seeing your face has helped me a little. Every feel like everything will be alright. I've been thinking about when it started. It's been so strange since the unmanned operation test. Tell me about the test. Rachel didn't recommend manned control. Manned control to the director. In fact, she fought fiercely against it. 
She pushed hard for them for unmanned control and used Cujo's unfinished device to make it a reality. The other engineers, Cujo and I both, were kept in the dark about the testing. Tell about uh, control systems. The manned control project was shut down, completely frozen. When Julius joined again, everything was switched to remote control and my work centered on that. One day, the Galdark soldiers will think and fight for themselves and Julius will rule over them. What do you mean? I should have noticed sooner. Um. They must have some other objective in mind. Yes. Uh, yes, that's supposed to be it. Yes. I never saw it before. Never realized. Every day I lived, worked, studied for hours. I cried. I laughed, but always for Rachel. I see now that she doesn't value people. She only sees tools. Things she can manipulate. Sometimes I even forget what that little girl looks like. Like she's shrouded in black fog. Do you know why I supported your Ark Soldier program, Leah? Your Magnolia Compass, Rachel? Though I love you dearly, it was not born of my paternal duty. It was for mankind's future. The noblesse oblige. It's the duty of the powerful to help those less fortunate. Of course. I understand, Father. Then how could you do such things? How could you experiment on children? On innocence? You administered bias factors to children you knew to be incompatible! It's inhuman! Answer me, Rachel! I have no other answer, Father. <laughs> you summarized it very well. It's completely inhuman. What? Justification could you possibly have for something this sick? In all honesty, nothing could be simpler. It is all to ready the feast that must be served. This, this is far more than I can handle. There is no other option. I must report you to Fenra's court of inquiry. I'm sorry. My own daughter. My blood. I hope you have a better explanation for them than you did for me. Rachel, don't worry, big sister. The preparations for this test have long since been completed. Think of this as already done. I would like very much to take you up on your promise, Leia. I wish to borrow your doll. How could it come to this? My Rachel, my flesh and blood. What? An origami? No, it can't be. It is... ah! The doll you and father made me? Oh, wonderful. When I play with it, it does just as I say, Leia. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better gift. Rachel, you... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. Rachel, this is all my fault. I did this to you. I'm the one who made you this way. All of this, all of this is because of me. I'm so sorry. Leia, my sweet sister, don't cry. All we have to do is make even more dolls to play with. Okay? Definitely psychotic. Rachel's the only family I have left. I can't take it anymore. No one knows what Rachel intends to do. There's no way people would understand. Dr. Lay, allow me to ask a question. Goddard Soldier's development in Black Plague research and treatment are underway at Fryer, correct? Yes, just as you imagine they are, Seal. Fryer is a structure that exists to develop and produce Goddard Soldiers until the bitter end. The Black Plague patients are, I'm afraid, being used to control the Goddard Soldiers in some form. <gasps> I knew it. I don't know exactly how, but I fear that's the case. Understood, Dr. Leia. Thank you. Captain, I will relay this information to Dr. Sakaki. It appears a mission has arrived. Let's attend to that first. Thank you for speaking with us. Please rest, Dr. Leia. I will. Dr. Rachel and Dr. Leia are both consummate researchers. They are also very close with each other. I have no relatives, and yet she was so nice to me, or so it seemed. 
I've always longed for the, what they have together. Does that mean the Black Plague, plague patients are the control method for the Godark soldiers? All this time, Dr. Leia was helping Dr. Rachel because she was the only family she had left. I know she couldn't s stop her, but... Seems like everyone's busy all of a sudden. Something happened? Well, we're probably gonna have to go Storm Fryer. Uh, yeah. She has a report for me. I see. So it's even worse than we thought. Okay, well, him. We'll be ready to move at any time. I'll formulate our response once I heard from Shield. Special mission. We'll do this one real quick. And we'll be bring Alyssa. Ooh, Kota. No, Shield stays. Let's just get this out of the way real quick. Hey, Hibari! You rocked it today! Thanks. You did well too, Captain Coda. I'll always do my best to keep your team safe. Total honesty? It's really all thanks to you that the first unit makes it back to the den unscathed. I'm proud to be a part of it, Captain. I'm here to support so you can fight without fear. On that note, I've noticed some inconsistency of late in the first unit. Is everything well? What? Uh, um, no. No, we're good. Totally good. Thanks. How are you? What's going on? Oh man, it's just... Crazy long story. I'll tell you another time. Uh, moving on now. No, look at the time. It's half past mission. Uh, let's go. Fight well, Captain. Return to the den safely. I'm patching everyone into Shields Intel. Mid-size origami spotted. It's making its way to the battle. One minute. God, it's so you feel so slow without being embraced. God, Alessa is such a great partner. Look, you're a rank two enemy, just drop dead. Still does some decent damage though. Abaddon, where? Oh, hey. Abaddon, slay it, slay it hard. God, I wish shield jumping was a thing. This is a Chiyu finally. Of course, this is the fucking Chiyu. Things are all goddamn annoying. There we go. Fuck oh,
If you'll be so kind to drop dead. Oh, he died from that. Mid-size hostile has appeared. I'll update your coordinates. More enemies. It's okay. It's all part of my grand plan. Do 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 Already running away. Wow. Two missions. Carried over across. Yeah, I had a guess it'd have to be. Good work. You all did very well. Bomb master, a plus one. Triple S. As usual, Hibari was on point and bringing the backup. Man, nothing gets past that girl. All this tech is a freaking godsend. Even a few years ago, we were completely blind. We had no idea when the origami would show up. Then all this new stuff took off, and <laughs> now I don't think I could survive a day without it. That's pretty amazing. So many people are always working hard to get us just a little farther. Slowly but surely, we're growing again. It's awesome. I mean, the more tech, the easier to survive. The more of us that survive, the more we can do to make life better. Heck, not too long ago, they even set up monitoring stations. They track the movement patterns of a bunch of origami species. With that knowledge, we can find safe areas, pinpoint strategic holdings, and better direct our forces to secure locations. <laughs> if this keeps up, maybe it won't be long before we're not afraid of the origami anymore. It's up to us god-eaters. We can make tomorrow better. We can make dreams reality. <laughs> that sounded way less cheesy in my head. <laughs> Yes, but what's going on with the first unit? Alright, let's stop this part here. I just wanted to get that active mission out of the way. Where are we end story? 78. It's just about... Past the halfway point. I think I would say or just about reaching it around the halfway point all right thanks for watching